हाई फ्रेंड्स वी आर विद अ फोर्थ वीडियो इन आर वी बॉट्स रॉस टू ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट सर्विसेस इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द वीडियो डू सी द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पब्लिशर्स सो फॉर दोज हु आर न्यू टू रॉस टू दे शुड रेफर द फॉलोइंग लिंक टू गेट द डिटेल्स ऑफ वॉट is a publisher in rostu so the link of the resource will be given in the description so let's start with the basics so there is a very good pictorial representation of a publisher so a publisher is a node which can be written in many languages like c++ python etc so this node is responsible for publishing messages to a topic in ros2 system so this is one part of communication which is sending messages so there can be a case where there can be multiple nodes publishing to a same topic so if this is feeling new to you don't worry we will be implementing today a publisher So in this section we will look at how to publish on a topic with the terminal. So for today we are going to use an epoc robot with a vbot scene. So first of all let's go to ros2 workspace. So if you don't have this workspace where uh, our vbots ros2 package is situated you need to look at first video and set up your repositories in order to go further with this tutorial so now first of all we source install setup.bash and now we can use this launch file to launch the scene with epoc robot so now we see here there is an epoc robot with some obstacles around so we will take a new terminal again source it and let's see what all topics are been published so ros2 topic list so if you see there are many topics which publishes leds long sensor joint states and tfs so today we are going to command to the command well topic let's do ros2 topic for publishing there is a command named pub so if i auto complete it gives me pub slash command well so it is ros2 topic pub topic name if i double tap it will give message type which is geometric messages and here we make a dictionary of our x y z so we use linear colon x 0 let's give x as 0.2 y colon 0 and z colon 0 so this geometric twist message is made in such a way that you can also use this for drones because in that case you will get a value in z direction as well and also it has angular part which will give x colon 0 so let's move our robot straight so it will be y colon 0 comma z colon 0 so here we make a dictionary with key value pairs because this is how terminal accepts it oh we forgot a comma here 
because these are two elements of the higher dictionary if i enter now yes it started publishing oops it was very fast and bush it banned okay so it was it is publishing at 1 hertz we can also change the rate by dash r and we can publish at like 0.5 hertz that means every 2 seconds now let's take it back so if i give minus 2 enter it will rotate in reverse direction and it is publishing once every 2 seconds let's make it 0 yes yeah so it stopped rotating the wheel stopped rotating we can check it by taking it at the center so you see here it's publishing zeros now so this is how you can publish messages through terminal so in this section we will implement same command which we ran through terminal but now by making a python script which is a node so for that we have used this documentation as a reference link of this documentation will be given in the description so this document walks through making a package writing a publisher and running it so you can go through this package for now we will quickly go through the node which we wrote first we import rclpy which is ros2 python library then we import node because we need to pass it inside our class and we import from geometric messages we import twist this, this is because our command velocity message type is twist so first of all before going through class so let's minimize this before going through class let's go through our main function so we initialize a node first then we make an object of publisher class and we spin an object so these are basic steps which any publisher will need to go through in order to publish and at the end if we hit ctrl c or by any circumstance if the spin gets off we destroy the object and we shut down the node so now let's go through the class so it has one function and in it so we initialize the name of node as command well publisher we make a publisher so self dot create publisher is a function inside rclpy which enables us to create a publisher it takes in the message type the topic name and buffer size so it will have 10 messages because its buffer size is 10 now we make a variable named timer and give it the value 0.5 seconds now we have self dot timer equal to create timer and we pass our time period and we have a callback so here this create timer pings every 0.5 seconds and runs this script because we have passed that script here so what happens in that script we take a message equal to twist message so here we are making an object of our message we are giving linear velocity as 0.1 we are giving angular z as 0.5 so now our robot will rotate as well and we are using the publisher which we made here to publish our message so this function is called every 0.5 seconds because that is how we have set this function create timer so this was all about making a very easy publisher now if you have gone through last video of services you must be knowing 
that we don't just need to make a python file name publish well we also need to initialize it in setup.py so here these things are given to us by vbots so here in entry point we need to add our file name so here this is the name of node which we desire while we run ross run this is the folder structure so in our package we have a folder named vbot ross to epoch inside which we have publisher underscore well dot py this python file so if you write this and now this is similar to again last video where there is a command which will just run the single package so you see here call con build package selection so we will copy this we will paste it here control shift v and we will write our package name vbots underscore ros2 underscore epoch okay so we write vbots underscore ros2 underscore epoch okay yeah it is building our package and you see it successfully built it so now let's see our simulation here and we can source this again because we just built the repository and we can do ros2 run and package name we bought ros2 underscore epoch yes and if we hit on tab we see here different nodes we are able to see our node so we'll do publisher well and if i hit on enter you can see robot moving oops we will assist robot by moving this object so if you are new to you can move this object with shift as well okay so in our terminal our node is running and we are seeing the robot rotating if you want to simply close your node you just hit on control c this is still getting the same velocity because last velocity which was set by node was 0.2 so to stop this we need to make sure that either we write a node which will end with velocity 0 or we can also publish velocity 0 so if i publish it it stops yes okay This is all about how to implement publisher with a node. So in this section, we will look at differences between ROS1 publishers and ROS2 publishers. So first of all, in ROS1, some messages or some libraries are designed with different types depending on implementing language that means for example time and duration in c++ is implemented differently than python on the other hand in ros2 we have messages consistent in all the languages secondly in ros1 most of you must have known who know ros1 that node cannot survive without ros core but guess what in ros2 there can be nodes which can survive without ROS core because there is end-to-end -end connection and it is not a middleware. In ROS, we have centralized discovery. That means to know the node, if there is node in system, it has to register it through ROS core. 
the bad part here is if I have a failure in raw score, my full system fails. So it is one point failure. On the other hand, publisher is fully distributed in ROS2. So even the discovery is distributed. So if there is an issue in one node, full system will not shut down. Now in ROS, ROS uses definition and serialization, DSS RPC. But in ROS2, it is DSS, which is vendor independent. So by default, DSS is given by vendor fast RTPS. Here, ROS cannot be used for real time requirements. Hence, it is not mostly used in production scenarios. But guess what? ROS2 can be used in real time systems and this can be done by tweaking our DSS communication. This concept is known as quality of service where you can decide how much real time data is required is to how much space you are ready to give to store the messages. Also, lastly, ROS can only be used with old user facing APIs. For example, 0.4 Mango Tango. This was released in 2009 but as ROS2 is new it can be used with latest APIs so that is a big win for ROS2 these are the differences in ROS publishers and ROS2 publishers so now we will discuss applications of publisher in ROS2 so first of all let's discuss importance of publisher so I would like to share a scenario where publisher raw system without a publisher is like no sound on our earth. So think about it. It would be so difficult to communicate and it would be really a chaos. So let's go through some of the applications like publisher helps to control the system in real time. It keeps the system informed about the updated environment. It also helps in internal communication of the system. Publishers control actuators position and velocity. With the help of publisher, you can perform actions in sequence. And also we can handle emergency stopping situation where we can publish some emergency topic and everyone can understand that there is an emergency situation. These were some of the applications of publisher and that was all about today's video so if you want to learn about advanced concepts and many more ROS2 concepts stay tuned thank you